Carlos Ghosn, thank you very much for joining us on Euronews. Let, let's begin with the big picture. How do you see the Eurozone crisis impacting the global economy? Oh, I, th I think the global economy is going to be impacted, but uh, not dramatically. I think the IMF has been reducing the perspective for next year, the global economy from 4.5 to 3.8, now to 3.3. I think this is mainly the effect of Europe on the global economy. Renault Nissan seems to be bucking that trend. Um, is that a realistic forecast or an optimistic one? No, I think for 2012, uh, what we're going to see at the level of the industry is a contraction in Europe. I don't think anybody is even hoping for the market in Europe, the car market in Europe to go up. But from the other side, you, this uh, decrease in the market in Europe is going to be compensated by growth everywhere else. You are, United States is going to go up, uh, Latin America is going to go up, China is going to, be, uh, going, to, going to go up, Russia. So even Japan is going to go up. So yes, we have bad news coming from Europe, contraction in Europe, but it's going to be more than compensated by the growth, even moderate, uh, taking place all over the world. So we're going to end up with a record year for the industry and obviously also a record year for Renault Nissan. So with the Eurozone's economy contracting, how safe are people's jobs in your company? I think we have already uh, uh, anticipated a lot of the softening that will take place in Europe. When, when Lehman Brothers collapsed, we were all taken a little bit by surprise. That's why it was a little bit messy. Now there is no surprise. You know, for, for many months, we were seeing something happening. So we're ready. We have reduced inventory. We are postponing investment. We have been very cautious on hiring. I don't think you're going to see any announcement more than what has been done already about uh, headcount reduction or social plans. You turned Nissan's fortunes around in just three years. It's added to your superstar status. We've got a lot of business leaders here in the doldrums. Have you got any insights to share with them? The, our job is really to be extremely pragmatic, to be extremely lucid, uh, not to come with preconceived ideas. You have to make sure that you are adapting uh, the solution uh, to the problem you're facing and you're not trying to take you know some pages from somebody else book or your, even your own book because it doesn't apply for the new situation you're facing. So what are the best moments and the worst moments of your working life? Uh, you know uh, I can tell you the, the, the first year we made the profit when uh, we turned around Nissan was a great moment because finally we had something happening after 10 years of, of, uh, of struggle. Every time you open a new plant into a new territory or a new country is a great moment for you because you're opening the border for your company. Your next month, um, Renault is going to be opening a new plant in Morocco. That's a great moment. And Nissan is announcing a new plant in Mexico when we're going to open this plant. It's going to be a great moment. The, the most difficult moments are always the moment of uncertainty where you have uh, you, you excruciating choices to make and you don't always see clearly what's going on. One of the other good moments for Renault Nissan are the electric vehicles. Yeah. Now you've got a fleet here for CEOs to test drive. A lot of people at the top have got a vested interest in the oil industry. How much traction is this clean energy having with them? The, the, the traction is coming from the consumer. As when, when we explain to the consumer what are the advantage of the zero emission car, the advantage of the electric car, uh, they are extremely excited. You know, we sold more than 20,000 cars already on the calendar year 2011. We're going to double, more than double this volume in 2012. So it's getting traction little by little. Everyone leaves Davos with these Davos moments. Yeah. Uh, do you have any key moments from this Davos that you'll be taking home with you? The, the, the most, uh, you know, impressive thing in Davos is a lot of pessimism this year. You know, last year there was a lot of optimists which end up not being totally justified because the year 2011 have not been that great year that everybody was expecting. So maybe 2012 will end up being better than what uh, most of the people here think it will be. Carlos Gunn, thank you very much thank indeed. You.